Hello and welcome to Treble B. In this tutorial we'll demonstrate how to make this beach house using SketchUp and Treble D. We'll go through the process step by step, starting off slowly and then build the pace as we go. In this video we'll be making the ground floor. We'll be using the full version of Treble D, but the free trial version of Treble D contains everything you need to build the model. So you can follow the tutorial and build the beach house for free. We'll be using the inches version, but we'll make metric references where necessary for the metric people. We'll begin by selecting a dining room. Using the select tool, that's the arrow button in the top left corner, we click on the live and kitch scene. We then point to the small dining room and click once. Using the scroll wheel on your mouse, we zoom in. SketchUp will zoom in to wherever you point the cursor. In SketchUp, we use the move tool, that's this red cross, to move all objects. It's important in SketchUp to grab something in a specific spot if you want to move it accurately. So we click at the base of the module, in a corner, just one click. The move tool is a two click tool, that is one click to pick it up and one click to put it down. Then we move over to the model tab, we click on it. That's going to take you over to the grid where we build our model. Now zoom into the grid, somewhere around the centre. Click again to place the module on the grid. The blue grid lines should line up with the yellow grid guides on the modules. If you get it close enough, SketchUp will snap it into place for you. We now go back to get a living room and select it using the same process. For this module, we zoom in to a grid guide at the top corner, which is one of these pale yellow posts with an X on top. We grab it at the centre of the X, one click, then move over to the model tab. Now zoom into the dining room, zoom in to this point, the guide post at the top right corner. Zoom right in and place X over X. Click to place the module. Now we're going to take some time to fine tune our model scene. We navigate around in SketchUp by pushing down on the scroll wheel and moving your mouse. This is called the Orbit tool. We see the red and green symbol. It orbits the camera around an object. If you hold down the Shift key while you're doing it, you can pan. You'll see this little white hand. This pans the camera viewpoint vertically or horizontally. This movement takes a bit of practice, but it's really not that tricky. SketchUp video have a good tutorial to show you how to do it. So just play around with it a, a bit and you'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. We're going to be placing some more modules in the lower part of the screen. So navigate to get your screen looking roughly like this. This is where we're going to put our kitchen and laundry. Now we go over to the model tab and we right click and select update. Now the next time we hit the model tab, we'll come back to this exact view. In SketchUp, we change and update scenes a lot. It's quite a useful design tool. Now we head back over to the live and kitch scene to get our kitchen. We select the kitchen, zoom in, and grab the X with the move tool. Just one click. And we click on the model tab to fly over to our model. Triple D modules have been designed to overlap each other to sit on the grid. So we place one guide over another, X over X. As you can see, we need to make some adjustments now to our model. If we take a look at our beach house floor plan, we can see that the TV should be on the right hand side and our kitchen needs to be flipped over. So we Select the living room, right click and select flip along, groups red. Red will normally flip right to left and more about that in a moment. 
And as we can see in this high-tech action replay, we flip along, groups red. Now the TV is where we want it. And if we take a closer look at the kitchen, we need to put the cooking appliances down here towards the bottom of the screen. So we select the kitchen, right click and select flip along groups green. Green will normally flip a module from top to bottom, red flips it right to left. So now our room is taking shape, we'll head over to walk and roof to get our stairs. So we'll select this compact stair, zoom in and grab the X and head back to our model. Zoom into this spot and place X over X. We need to flip the module in the green direction to get it working the way we want. So it's starting to take shape and looking good. We need to put our laundry in here. Laundries are in the miss and out category on account of being miscellaneous. So we'll head over to miss and out to get our laundry. So select the laundry, zoom into the guide post and fly back to our model. We'll just place it down here for starters. If we zoom in on the base of the laundry and click on the corner, we can slide it along the grid left to right and we'll see uh, a red line light up. This means that we're moving in the red direction. If we slide towards the bottom of the screen, we can see a green light light up. To explain this better, we can click on the Zoom Extents tool. It's in the top right hand corner. This will show us the full extent of the screen and we can see the axis. The red line runs right to left. The green line runs along the axis from the top of the screen down towards the bottom and the blue line runs vertical. This direction is what SketchUp is referring to by groups red or components blue or the green direction. It's referring to these axes. Another handy tool is the previous tool. This will take us back to the previous camera view. That is, we'll go back to the base of the laundry. Now, if we take the move tool and move the laundry to the right a bit, we can then tap the right arrow on the keyboard. This will lock movement in the red direction and we can't go off course. Two little commas come up next to the cursor to show that the direction has been locked. It's a technique that's used a lot in SketchUp because it's accurate and it helps us to avoid errors. Now we just need to flick this laundry to get the cabinets right. So we select, right click and go to flip along groups green. Now we need to go and find a loo, but we'll do that in the next video. So we'll see you then.